Everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got Honey Puff Vanilla Flavored Rolling Paper. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. So we got the one and a quarter vanilla flavored papers. This is our next installment. This is going to be the last one that I'm doing on these Honey Puff um, papers for a little while. Because to be honest with you, I haven't been too impressed with their their papers. Their chocolate was alright, the, the watermelon was okay. The vanilla was, well we'll get into that, but uh, let's pop the pack open. We got on the front here some leaves and uh, some plantage right there. You got some more plantage on the back. You got the normal saying, branded and designed in the USA. So basically the USA came up with all this nonsense and they sourced the paper from somewhere in Europe. Who knows? Eastern Europe, Western Europe, Spain, who knows? And then everything was packaged and ready to be presented to you by the People's Republic of China. And then you got honeypuff.com if you want to check them out. There you go. Resealable pouch. Maintain your freshness. Now, it is a nice feature to have, especially if you're in a dry environment where the flavor is going to get out a little bit faster than a place that's a little bit more moist and humid. Let's see if we can get this out of here. There we go. On the front here, we got the blurred brownness over here to the left. Not sure what that, that is, but then we got the plantage in the background. We got the embossed look on the logos, of course. Roll natural width. It wasn't a typo the first time. Uh, honey puff, finest quality paper. And on the end caps, we got 32 leaves. And here's what we got on the inside here. Natural gum, please moisten gently. Nothing on the inside of the pack hidden in there. We got tissue box style with the large font saying vanilla with the stock footage of some vanilla plants. And then the paper itself. Now, in regards to the creamier flavors, this actually wasn't too, too bad. I don't want to say it's good, but it wasn't too, too bad. It wasn't the worst vanilla flavor that I've ever tried. Um, it definitely had a little more subtleness to it, which was nice. It wasn't as intense as most of the other flavors that Honey Puff puts out. So I thought that was kind of a different take on it. Still not, still not saying it's a positive <clears throat> for this particular brand. Because, again, we don't really know what all the ingredients are that they used for everything. It just says natural. It's just a lot of words that describe the product. They're usually using a lot, throwing a lot of adjectives at us, but they're not really telling us the beef. Where's the beef? That's what we want to know. Where's everything at? What kind of gum is it? Where's the papers at? You know, where do the papers come from? Don't just say in Europe. You know what I'm saying? So here we got paper technology wise. We got the vertical striping. We got the gum strip right there. Um, again, burned pretty even, burned pretty smooth, didn't canoe on me, so that's always a plus when it comes to a rolling paper. But again, we don't know what type of flavoring that they, Honey Puff uses on their papers. We don't know what kind of gum strip that they're using. It didn't leave the envelope type flavor in my mouth, I could tell you that for sure. So let's, let's be frank with that. But then again, I also have the strong vanilla flavor, a subtle strong vanilla flavor masking whatever the gum strip would be putting, you know, fourth you know what i'm saying in regards to altering the flavor on my tongue so but yeah me personally i don't know if i personally recommend the honey puff papers but if you get to try them out let us know you know in the comments below and if you have tried them already let us know in the comments below and uh yeah Whew. i tell you what man i'm definitely ready to move on to some new papers we got some new wraps coming up later on next week and i got some more variety papers coming out i got some local varieties that are going to be super sick that you're going to that you're going to experience next week that i'll share with you and uh yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and uh if you want more content like this subscribe for more i do smoking reviews every single day so be on the lookout for that and have a good rest of your day